What is up, everybody? Rod J back in the house. Time to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by and check out another video. Today, I'm going to check out one from out of Athens, Georgia. It's a look at the Depth Perception Imperial IPA from Terrapin Beer Company. This comes in at 9.1% ABV. It is the 19.2 ounce can, so it is one of the in between the 16 and the 22 size and something we've talked about on the beer show a few times about how some breweries are starting to make more moves to this size. Let me know what you guys think of the 19.2 ounce can. Are you a fan of it? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get this baby in a glass and check it out though. All right, so in the glass, we've got the beer here and I'll put the can to the side so you can check that out as well. Well, we got some clarity in play. You can definitely see through to the other side, so we're not dealing with any haziness. Look at the carbonation action taking place, a nice streaming. Now, this is a nucleated glass, so it is designed to actually drive the bubbles up, but a nice looking view of the beer, nice copper color, nice head on it to open up the aromas. Now, what I'm getting under the aroma is more like a piney, grassy type feel from the hops not really climbing out of the glass as much as some of the other ipas usually do this one you definitely have to take a whiff to really pull out the notes not as really dank and resiny i know i do get a sweetness on the nose and like uh, many of the other imperial ipa styles kind of has that little bit of a syrupy type characteristic i feel that's going to be in play here from just taking a whiff there taste wise You definitely get the step up in the malts to get the alcohol up in the beer. So you're getting more of a malt type feel coming through. You're getting that grassy type feel in the taste as well. Piney type taste in the, uh, in the uh, flavor. You're getting that syrupy base as I mentioned on the nose. You're also kind of getting that in the body of the beer. That type of feel. A little bit of a caramel type note in there from the grains can really feel it uh, in the mouth and the cheeks, like kind of a stickiness in play. But it's kind of typical for some of the feel you would get off of some of the Imperial IPA type styles. Not really too bad. Um, not really picking up much of the booziness from that initial drink here. It does have a heavier body to it, so you're definitely looking towards more of a fuller type body. And I guess, I take that back, you do have a little bit, I guess you could say, of that alcohol feel coming through. Not overly boozy, but you can definitely feel a little bit more of that weight being in play there. Almost kind of the same way if you had something kind of like as a, as a higher gravity malt liquor type feel, you're getting definitely that little bit of a tone in there where you can definitely feel it's been stepped up. The sweetness in there, in the mouth, from the flavor, not really as drying on the back end. I think if you had a few of these, they probably would definitely, uh, depending on your tolerance, catch up with you. But I can see where that would definitely mount up. But as far as an Imperial IPA goes, it's not bad. It's decent enough. It's uh, kind of on par with a good amount that I've had now. There are some I've had that have actually been higher than what I'm getting off of this one. Um, but not really disappointed, but not really knocking my socks off either. Kind of just kind of decent there in the middle. Getting a little bit of tongue prickle sensation when I hold on the tongue from the carbonation. But again, that sweetness is coming through. Definitely a little bit more sweeter of a beer. Terrapin, I believe it's AB and Bev they might be under now as well. So they are under one of the big boys, I believe. I'll double check that just to make sure, but I believe that's the case. Oh, forgot to have the camera there. Get the can there again as I poured the rest in. But you know, it's uh, enough that it will definitely do. If you're an Imperial IPA fan, I think you'll be okay with it. I don't. I would just say um, probably hold your reservation. Do you actually have it? As far as what you may think going in, for me, 
This is going to be a 3.5 out of 5 that I'll put it on tapped. Decent enough. I can sit back. I can finish enjoying it. It's not like it's a terrible beer any means, but it's not like, uh, as I said, some of the other ones I actually enjoy might be a little bit higher. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. But again, this is Terrapin and his Depth Perception Imperial IPA coming in at that 9.1 ABV. It's been a while since I've had a Terrapin beer, so... I may check out some more of their stuff, but uh, it does what it's supposed to do. Thanks for checking out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Just remember, there's always time to get your beer on. Drink beer. Live hoppily. Cheers, everybody.